Hey guys, Lieutenant Dan here with the last country that I had to paint and it was Japan. I can't believe it. I'm done. I started this thing back in October of last year, 2020. It took me about nine months, I guess. And uh, I got done yesterday, man. It is a great feeling to have touched a good thousand pieces. All right, so let's uh, take a look at what I have here. So the first one here is just a uh, AAA. I got this at HPG. Here's our artillery that I had out of the box. And this artillery I got from a 1941 game that I bought. So it just gives me a little, uh, some different flavors on the field there. All right, for my mechs, I use trucks. All right, and then uh, my infantry, I got, uh, I got two different kind. I have this uh, airborne guy. And then uh, the out of the box. I got that airborne guy, HPG. All right, now let's do the tanks. Um, this is, uh, this one I got, uh, man, where did I get this? You know, I don't know. I think I, I bought a grab bag. Uh, you know, they're miscolored items. Huge bag of them. And this happened to be in there. So I just painted up the tracks and weathered it up and did a little dry brushing on it. All right, and then I won these at the BB4, no, three tournament here in Atlanta. And I won these. These are, I call them the Sire Blood Specials. And, uh, I did a little reconditioning on this one. The decal was coming off his that he had put on. So I put on the meatballs. That looked pretty cool. Anyway, he had uh, painted these up and I really liked uh, them. Uh, sentimental value, of course. And, um, but also um, that they, you know, had a different color. And, and this was the main reason <laughs> that I, introduced um, multiple colors with my set um, but I didn't want to get crazy with the colors so with having all these different sorts of colors on the field um, but uh, that was my inspiration of kind of doing uh, armor different colors than the infantry and in the aircraft different color um, so anyway rambling on so let's do the uh, the navy. So here I have uh, I have two different um, transports. This one I bought at I think actually this came in that uh, in the 1941 game. I really like this one. It's a lot different than all the others. And I kept the um, the one that you get out of the box just to have you know different different pieces. The out of the box transport. All right, and what's next? So you get the sub. This is just out of the box. Nothing special there. Um, actually, I, this one came from a 1941 game, and then I do have an out of the box one. So, oh, actually, the, yeah, they're out of the box one. All right. And then, the destroyer. Like how the weathering really brings out all the detail. You don't get that if you just spray paint them. A little extra effort brings out details you never see. This cruiser, it's out of the box. Now, I don't know which ones these are. 
<laughs> I did buy them from uh, Shapeways, from eBard. So this is, uh, I bought uh, three different um, battleships, but this is one, it's kind of a smaller one. Um, but you know, I like it. I like just to have uh, variety, you know. This is a big one, I like this one, this is kind of cool. weathering really pops out all that stuff and then here's the big boy of course I know which one this one is the Yamamoto got this one at Shapeways eBard this looks cool all right then I have uh, I got all my carriers I, I bought them at uh, Shapeways as well um, I have four different types um, so I don't know who's who in the zoo, so you're just going to have to uh, look at them and enjoy them. Um, what I do like about these is the details, being able to see through them, it's kind of neat, you know. And then uh, here's one little guy, but it's cool you can see through them, got a lot of good detail on them. All right, and then we have these two guys. And uh, obviously you can see things are magnetized. Um, let me go ahead and just take these off for now. This is a really cool one. Let's get that back in there, all the detail up front. All the side detail. Well worth the money spent. And then we'll just transition right into the aircraft. So again, not sure who's this, who this one is, but uh, looks good. All right, now let's take a look at the aircraft. So um, here is a zero. And I have, uh, I have different flavors of uh, aircraft. So this one is a Kate torpedo bomber, and I'm just using those as the tacks. Um, this is uh, the one that I finished yesterday, and man, these things look awesome. The decals on them, and then having them contrast with the orange, um, man, it just makes things pop out. Got the zero here. Of course, I, you know, I have decals everywhere. Um, you know, there is a limit on how much you can put on there, but I uh, seem to have found for the small guys, you can get six, and then the bigger ones, you can start getting up to eight uh, before it starts looking too gaudy. Um, see, I already showed you this one, but here's uh, just a little more detail on the, uh, that bomber. Okay, and let's see. Then I have one, or I should say, I have uh, a few Navy bombers. So I just kind of pan them up. Start seeing some dry brushing, like the exhaust. It really brings out, uh, you know, you look on any photo of any aircraft you'll see that exhaust trail so i just wanted to have that in my in my pieces all right so then i have these vow uh, attack bombers now what i did was i have a navy version and then i have um or i have navy version of my aircraft and then i i want to have the army version so um this is a vow attack uh attack bomber and i have a let's see i have three different uh, paint schemes, you know, just subtle. So here I have the, this is just based off of stuff I've seen on the web. But this one has a uh, back end is all red. But that was kind of cool. And then here's one uh, with the yellow. Man, I was worried about these when I did this. It, the yellow just wasn't uh, adhering to that uh, green and it took uh, what seemed like 10 coats. I mean, it was a lot, a lot of coats. 
but it really turned out cool. I like them. Got that weathering on the, um, this one, uh, yeah, it's got, can't really see it in the lighting, but see the, uh, the exhaust real close to the fuselage. A little exhaust action going on there. Looks good. I love the army, man. I, I don't know, man. It's hard to decide which uh, which country I like. U.S., Japan. Uh, I forget which uh, fighter this one is. It's a little guy, um, but uh, got uh, some good exhaust. Come down the wings on the side of the fuselage. It's two toned. Gotta love that two tone as well. Um, I figured that out on the, uh, once I got to the US, um, I was able to figure out that two-tone, you know, you get that line in there, it really looks cool. And then, let's see, then I have, uh, oh, I kind of jumped around, back to a Val Tack Bomber. This one didn't have any uh, paint scheme per se, like, you know, different colors here and there. Um, just kind of keep things a little different. Looks good though. And then the last one is the bomber. So on um, this one, I think, man, did I have, I think this is the, the main uh, paint scheme I have for the bombers, that, that yellow on there. But I got the, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, there you go. See the exhaust coming out the engines. That is so awesome. These are two-tone as well. Got the exhaust coming out the bottom. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging in there. Over these uh, last couple months, I guess uh, pushing nine months, uh, kicking these videos out. But I hope you have enjoyed them. I certainly have enjoyed learning um, and also uh, appreciated a new hobby. Um, so I, I really enjoy uh, painting now and I hope to come out with painting videos on just a few units um, just to kind of keep it um, keep them short but uh, focus in on uh, one type of unit instead of a thousand I mean, it's like crazy to, to think that I have I have touched every one of these but man it looks awesome all right, guys, until the next video, take care.